Okay, um, <clears throat> 2010 favorites. Um, this has been a pretty good year for me. <clears throat> um, I was thinking about it, and this is actually the first time, um, <clears throat> New Year's time that I've been in a job that I really like, so, um, hope I don't, <laughs> you know, kind of, they just had huge, some layoffs, and, um, I hope I'm not laid off. I mean, that wouldn't be very fun. Um, because I kind of like it. So, I don't know why I'm talking about that. But anyway, um, so professionally, uh, 2010 has been pretty good. Um, personally, it's been pretty good. Um, 50 pounds I lost. Um, and, I mean, I need to lose more. Um, and I'm working on it. So, um, it's been pretty good. So, awesome. So, I'm excited for 2011. And, um, I've compiled a list of my 2010 favorites. So, let's get started. Um, and I don't know about the, excuse me, just eight, <laughs> um, about the lighting in here. So, let me know, um, if it's kind of too dark. Um, it's kind of dark now. And, uh, the lighting wasn't as good as when I planned um, to film, but anyway, I digress. So let's get started. Um, I've compiled a list and I've gathered all the products together and um, it starts, I was, was thinking, like in the shower, like to the end, so, or to the beginning, the beginning of your day. The super beginning to the real beginning. Okay, so in the shower, um, two things, or three things I picked out. Um, the first is the Aveeno uh, Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. And the reason I love this, first of all, it smells really good. Um, and it reminded me of something that I was actually looking for. Uh, the um, Laura Mercier used to make this uh, face polish, face scrub um, that I loved and I ran out of it. And I went, um, and I was looking on the Sephora site and I didn't find it. So, the same day I was like looking for a new face scrub because I just wanted something, I have super dry skin, so I wanted something that could like scrub right here and um, sort of rejuvenate my skin a bit. And I found this Aveeno at Walgreens for like five bucks or six bucks, I think. And, um, that's a steal. So, and it works really well. Usually, um, drugstore products do not, um, work on my skin because, um, I, I get allergic reactions to aloe or salicylic acid. And if you have acne, the drugstore is great because there's like 50 million things you can use. Um, but I don't have that problem. Um, but this really works. I really, really, really like it. And I I venture to say that this is the first drugstore face wash that I've really liked. So, moving on. Another face wash is the Philosophy Purity. And I love this for getting off makeup. Um, you know, just kind of around my eyes. And um, this says you can use it every day. So, I do. I use it always up here. And then I get dry patches around here. So I use that. And it actually has really helped. Um, and I use Purity every day. So I use both. And um, so first I do this. And then um, run this around my eyes and lips and neck and stuff like that. So that's what I do. <coughs> and um, the, also in the shower, um, I've been really impressed this year with the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. And I actually use this about every other day. Um, this is, it's just been really helpful. Um, as I'm trying to grow out my hair, I've bleached it like 50 million times. And it just, it's has kind of, it's kind of really dry and brittle and breaks. And um, it's not really, this makes it good. So I'm really impressed with the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I think I got this at Target for like $2. So I really like that. And, uh, so makeup remover. Um, again and again, I've purchased the eye makeup remover from Target. What is my up and up? And, um, this is supposed to be comparable to the Neutrogena Oil Free 
a makeup remover. I've never used that kind of makeup remover, but this one I just really like. Um, I shake it up and apply it on a cotton pad and it does the trick. It takes off um, waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara, and it works It works really well for me. Um, some people think it's too oily, but that I like oil because, well, I have really dark skin. Um, and then for moisturizer, in the winter time I use two things. Um, the vitamin E oil, I've talked about that. And then I pair it with the Estee Lauder Daywear Plus, which is a really thick moisturizing cream. And it smells like cucumber. I love the smell. And um, this this jar will last you about three months. Um, it's not cheap, um, so it's not a bargain, but I love it. And I'm um, at the counter. They said, "Oh yeah, they try." Um, they have a version for the um, summer, but I like this. Um, this is good enough for me. Good for me, even though it's really thick. I need thick because I have really dark skin. And in the summertime, I probably won't. I don't usually use the oil. Um, I got this. I can't remember. I, I'm just thinking Walgreens, but it's not. Um, because the ones at Walgreens I've seen are not clear. It's like a yellow color. But that's the same stuff. It's just vitamin E oil, and it's really good for your skin. Um, really good. Um, probably you want to let it sit in. Um, you don't want to put it on and then put your makeup on right away. You want to let it soak into your skin. So what I do is after the shower, um, when I put on deodorant and stuff like that and lotion, I put this on um, before I put the moisturizer on. Um, okay. And, oh, I forgot about, um, when, before I dr blow dry my hair, um, I've been really impressed with the one and only argan oil and this is from Sally's and you just need a little teeny bit and what I do is I um, really put it on my ends and then um, there are some pieces that I've over bleached um, over highlighted so I kind of run it through those I stay away from my roots um, but I just put it on some of the layers and um, it's it's worked and it helps frizzies too so I like that for this year um, and then, let's see, okay, so I have, oh, two things, um, two more things, well, a lot of more things, but for moist, for eye cream, what I've been really impressed with over and over is the Fast Response Eye Cream from MAC, and I think this has caffeine in it, um, it just really plumps up, you know, right here, and um, it fills in those little lines, and I like it. Um, then for eye, for for eye primer, um, the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion in Eden. I have the other two, Sin and um, I don't know the other one, um, but this one is my favorite, and this is it. It's kind of a I don't know. I really like it. I like it. Um, it provides a nice sheer um, to your eye. Too. Um, and the foundation primer I've used over and over is the Laura Mercier um, foundation primer. And this um, is actually the first primer I got, um, well not this bottle, but like three or four years ago when I first discovered foundation primers. And I always go back. Um, even when I think, oh yeah, this primer might work better, work better. This is my holy grail, what I've used, what I continue to use over and over. And it is expensive. It's not cheap. Um, it doesn't really, it smells kind of lemony. Um, and it just, it just seals in your moisturizer and puts a really good um, base to your face. And I really like it. Um, so, Okay. Now, foundation. Now, I separated these categories into summer and fall because in the summer, really all I need is NARS Sheer Glow. Um, and I'm in the color Ceylon. Um, I apply this with my fingers and I didn't get the, the pump, which I should. Um, 
and I just squirt a little bit on my fingers and apply that. And I concentrate right here and up here where there might be some redness um, just, to, just to create a smooth face and I'm really impressed with that. In the winter time, what I usually do, I didn't do it today, um, but I mix the Revlon Color Stay, I'm in the color 150 Buff and the Nourish Your Glow and I mix that. Um, now by itself, Color Stay um, stays on all day but it's really thick and really tacky and it really does, um, it's a full coverage foundation. So um, with these, it just is full coverage but it there's a pop, a glow, like a dewy glow and I really like that. I really like that finish, so <coughs> I don't have that on today. I have something else on, but um, this would be my favorite. Um, concealers are next. The next category, and winter and summer is the same. I use the Erase Paste. Benefits Erase Paste, can you see that? Yeah. And I'm in the color Fair, or yeah, the number one Fair. And I apply that with... I have all this junk here with this fluffy brush. Well, I don't apply it. I apply it with my fingers and like this, but then I blend it with this blush or brush that I got from icing and um, it really gets in the corners and, you know, swirls. So that's really great for this. Um, and then for my, like for my spots, Around here there's one, and here there's one. Um, I use the Benefits Boing, and I do the same thing. But I don't actually, like, go on the spot. I go around the spot and kind of just blend it out. Um, and that creates just really nice, and it stays all day. I'm impressed with the staying power of both of these. I don't use a powder to set my foundation anymore. Um, I just spray my face with Fix Plus and that usually works because um, powders were just too they dried out my face so <coughs> sorry okay so next is bronzer um where did my bronzer go I used the Suole Tan de Chanel and it doesn't it just creates a nice glow Oh, and the, um, sometimes I pair it with other bronzers, but this is what I use. Um, you can go, um, in the, I use this F82, Sigma F82, and I just swirl right there, and I swirl right there. It really creates definition and thins out the face, right there, right there, and then on my neck. Um, I really, really am impressed with the consistency of this. Um, it's a cream product and I just really like that on my face. Um, I really like cream products, so. Okay, then blush, another cream product. This is my favorite, favorite blush of all time. And this is not NARS Orgasm, it is NARS Cactus Flower. And mine's kind of funky looking. It's this beautiful, beautiful fuchsia, well, I don't know it's it just creates like a really nice pink glow and because it's a cream um, it's for me it seems like creams like blend better and you can just really sheer out sheer out the the color so it doesn't I mean I know I saw this and I was like wow this is like red but it's really really nice I don't know I comes out pink, bright pink on this camera but it's it's a really pretty color okay so then let's go into the eyeshadow bases um, I have three favorites the first is um, a NARS cream oh well this isn't the one a NARS cream shadow and it's it's Lido and it's a really kind of a dusty purple, a dusty lavender. And here it is, um, but it comes out a little more like dirty. Um, it just creates like the perfect base for a taupe. 
Um, here it is. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell. But anyway, Nars Lido. And then another one, uh, Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And this is just a really, it's a brightening cream pot. Um, it's skin tone color, but it, and you can't even see it, but it really just makes the eyes pop and really, the eyeshadows pop too. I really like that. Um, the last is the Benefits Cream Shadow in Skinny Jean. And a lot of people are saying that Dangerous Cuvée was similar, but um, this doesn't have chunks of glitter in it. And I don't really like chunks of glitter, so I didn't get any of those paint pots. Um, anyway, the Benefit, this is Benefit Skinny Jean, and this is a really good good base. So those three are my favorite um, bases for eyeshadows. Um, okay, so then I separated my eyeshadows to, to um, from summer and spring, summer, and fall, winter. Um, so let's do fall, winter first. Um, the fall, winter, um, my favorite holy grail amazing eyeshadow is the um, Chanel Taupe Grise, Grise, I don't know if you can tell in this light, but it's a really pretty taupe color. I love it. Um, here's that in the middle there. Um, really pretty and the packaging is just delicious. It's like this cute little velvet bag and I don't know, I love it. Okay, and then um, I have a few, oh, MAC Carbon, just that really intense black, you've all seen that, and um, let's see, Max Clue also is my favorite, and this was, a, I think, a limited edition color, but I picked it up at a CZO, um, and it's just a really light, um, taupe. I like it. So those are my two favorite, uh, or three favorite fall winter colors. And then in the summertime, I like to have my eyes pop. Um, so my, I have a NARS Sugar Baby, which is a beautiful baby paint, baby blue. Um, it looks darker on here. Super pigmented, like NARS shadows. Um, shears out. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so that and then another summertime favorite is the Melon Pigment. And that, I don't want to mess it all up here. It's just like that. So yeah. Um, ma mascara, Maybelline Falsies, I love. Um, what else? The, oh, my signature scent. The Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, um, that's been my signature scent since after college. And I think I, what I'll do is my next video, I'll do my favorite nail polishes because I'm out of time. Okay, bye. Well, I'm not out of time, but my better is flashing, so.